What up, y'all? It's Steph. You are now tuned with Dom Game Division. Let's get it. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Steph. I'm going to give y'all um, this arm blaster to make your arms bigger. I like to do this kind of towards the end or the beginning of my uh, arm workout. Now, we're going to do 10 close with the uh, barbell. And then we're going to do 10 wide with the barbell. The close is working your short head of your bicep, so the peak. Short, the short grip and the, and the wide grip is working the long head of your bicep, you know what I'm saying? So that thickness, you know what I'm saying? So, and we also gonna do reverse curl. So we're gonna do a reverse curl for the brachialis in the forearm. Then we're gonna do uh, a short curl, uh, close, and then we're gonna do wide, okay? Y'all ready? Let's go. <clears throat> short first. Now, we can use some swing with it because it's gonna get heavy. Okay? 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse now. Woo! Last one, reverse. rounds of that sometimes four I like to do three rounds of this and then right after this I go to triceps all right y'all all right, y'all. So I'm going to do a quick video today on how to achieve the V taper. Now you guys need to be doing at least 100 pull ups a day. If you are a beginner, do 50 pull ups a day. But me personally, I do 100 to 200 pull ups a day. Um, simply because my back is my weakness, so I've been doing a lot of pull ups every day. If you really want that V taper. You got to do your pull-ups, man. You got to do your pull-ups, man. You know, do all variations. You know what I'm saying? Do all variations. I got my shirt off today because I want to show y'all, you know, how I look. You know, a lot of people don't know how my back look, my current physique. Um, this is my back today. I just want to show you guys the progress of me doing 100 to 200 pull-ups every day. You have to do your pull-ups if you want a better back. Like, ain't no way around that shit. Ain't no way around that shit, y'all. You have to do your pull-ups. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, make sure you're doing all variations of your pull-ups. You have to. You know, if you want that V taper, man, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're doing your pull-ups and make sure you're doing your lateral raises. The pull-ups make your back wide as fuck. Weighted pull-ups work as well. But I like to do weighted pull-ups. I like to do non-weighted pull-ups. I like to do static holds when I do my pull-ups. As you can see right there, I'm doing holds. You know, best back best back exercise you can do. Best back movement you can do is pull-ups, man. By far. By far. Look at the back contracting. Look, look, at, look at that shit. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to see my shit working. I'm not just all talk. I walk the walk. I live this, I live this fucking lifestyle, man. So if y'all want to live it, I can help y'all get in the best shape. I just want to show y'all how my back looked when I first started. This is when I was 14, 15 years old. Like, guys, you got to start somewhere. Self-improvement starts somewhere. You got to start. You can't just keep watching videos and dwelling. You got to start. And this is me last month. You can see the V, the wide lats. As the, as the lats get wider, the waist gets smaller at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Big shoulders at the top, big lats, small waist at the bottom. That is the illusion of the V taper. That is how you achieve the V taper. And, and check this out. On the left is when I first started. On the right is one year into my fitness journey. So when people say you can't make gains in, in a year, man, that's bullshit, man. You can get the V taper, like I said, six to 12 months. So if you're ready to get in the best shape of your life, hit me up. All right, guys. So when when trying to achieve the V taper, you want to worry about your peripheral muscles. Um, for for instance, um, pull up my calves. Well, I got calves, but that has nothing to do with getting the V shape. The V 
V shape starts with the delts. So big delts, wide lats, small waist for the V. That is the V shape. Does that make sense? How do you get the V shape? I just showed you guys. Pull ups. Do your pull ups. Do all variations. Wide, behind the neck, uh, supinated. Um, as far for your delts, do lateral raises, do front raises, do rear, re rear raises. Weird raises make sure delts look 3D from the side. So when you look from the side, you can see the delts that's popping out from the side. Does that make sense? Right? The V is all in those three muscle groups. The delts, because the delts is what creates it. The bigger your delts is, the smaller your waist will appear. It's an illusion. So your delts, your lats, your waist. So it's kind of like this. That's how it is. Delts. Lats, waist. How do you get your waist smaller? And how do you get that V? I showed you guys in my ab routine. Make sure you're doing a lot of leg lifts. A lot of leg lifts like this. Come on, follow me. A lot of leg lifts. Controlling it. Controlling it. Controlling it. I'm not swinging. I'm breathing, I'm contracting, I'm doing as best as I can. Controlling it. That's how you get the V down there. Another thing how you can get the V. Leg lifts, leg lifts. Control it, control it, control it, control it. Coming down, another thing, here. Another how you get the V down there. So you mix these with that, and you're doing your delts, and you're doing your pull-ups, weighted pull-ups, weighted chin-ups. I promise you, within the course of six to 12 months, you will achieve the V. Now, if you guys need my help, want me to coach you, visit StephensCode.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and that's it for today. Peace.